And I'm streaming Love or Die. It's, uh... I don't know what it is. That, that probably sounds bad. <laughs> or maybe it doesn't. I don't know, knowing me. Um, I, you know, I stream lots of weird, sometimes kind of random games. This is one of those. I found a horror-themed comedy d dating sim? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but hey, the title screen's actually pretty cute. Like, it, I, this is a good stylization. If the entire game looks like, well, it immediately doesn't. <laughs> the entire game looked like that title screen, I would feel pretty confident. This is pretty basic for a background, to say the least, but <coughs> it's pretty indie, like I've never heard of this before. I'm willing to let that go. You there. Yes, you, on the other side of the screen. Man, so meta. It's almost like I'm back to playing Doki Doki already. <laughs> not, not really. Hi. Some kind of winky face, I think. You're the new transfer student to TAP school, right? I will guide you through. Think of me as a voice in your head. Or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I want to think of you as a voice in my head. That seems weird. Well, think of you as, like, an annoying fairy, I guess? How do I know you? I just do. <laughs> Good. Anyways, you're attending the school from today and on. Have fun studying and making friends. Yeah, the studying part sounds like no fun. Don't worry, there won't be much of that. <laughs> you know, that sounds pretty standard for visual novels. It's like, yeah, you're a high school character, uh, but we're not gonna actually cover the part where you go to school or anything. It's funny, I think Persona uh, is actually one of the few series I've seen that really takes full advantage of that, where Persona uh, 3, 4, and 5, it is actually relevant that you go to school and, you know, attend classes and stuff. Getting off topic, go find your classroom. Sure. Halloween. Party ye boy. That's a meme right there. I guess. Today, a new student will be joining us. Please introduce yourself. My name is... I get the feeling that, uh, hyper -demen Yeah, no. I cannot even... <laughs> Hyperdime! That is... An... That is actually a pretty limiting character limit. I'll just call myself HDD for short. I think that'll be fine enough, yeah? I'm a new transfer student. Nice to meet you, HDD. Nice to meet you. He seems nice. Making good impressions, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be... I don't want to be that guy right off the bat where everyone's like, Who is this joke? You can take a seat at the back. You, please show HDD around after class. Yes, teacher. <laughs> it's always the funniest thing in games where you can name your character. I mean, I always have that in Persona 2, because uh, in the Persona games, I use my real name, because, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what else to use for those. They let you pick a first and last name, which is cool. But I was named the character after myself, and it's really weird. I'm not going to give my full name out, but it's really weird having someone named, like, Michael going around with other people named things like y y Yosuke or Yusuke or, like, um, Kanji or, you know, whatever else. And it's like... <laughs> This seems really unfitting and actually kind of hilarious. Uh, anyways, uh, th that's just a random thought. 
you waves her hand and gives you a smile. Also, yeah, so the backgrounds aren't hyper detailed, uh, but that's fine. The characters are actually pretty cute, and at least the backgrounds are stylized. Like, I can tell they're going for a more simplistic, cutesy thing. It doesn't look overly, like, it doesn't look bad. Wow, class is over already. I could have sworn we just started. That's crazy. Time sure flies when you're, um, existing for two seconds. Phew. Questions sure are a thing. Yeah. Right, it's time for you to show you around. I'm disappearing. Thanks. I just didn't want to be a third wheel. Let's see, how's the volume looking? Well, actually, pretty decent. Yeah, I don't think I need to turn it down any. Hyperdimensional detective, is it? I, my name is you. I'm a class representative, so I'll show you around the school. After we see everything, you'll have to decide which club you want to join. Oh, cool. Not joining the literature club. It's not, that's, something tells me it would be a bad idea. Ready to go? Sure. Our first stop is the library. Here you can study during free time and borrow books that you need. Ah, also the literature club. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just I just said no, stop haunting me. I don't want to join the literature club. Jeez. Let me introduce you to the lit club's prez. Well, I was gonna say, I don't trust you, but you you actually appear to be a zombie and holding onto a Necronomicon, so, um, I don't know, does that make her more or less trustworthy than the other literature club? This is Echo. You gestures at the girl who came at you at, at the mention of the literature club. She looks like she needs some sleep. Echo, this is our new student, Hyperdimensional Detective. Uh, hi, Hyperdimensional Detective. I am a present of the Literature Club. Please join if you like reading books. Nice to meet you, Echo. What does the Lit Club do? Don't get lit! Uh, we, uh, read books? I see. <laughs> Awkward. You know, it sure is. Thanks, Echo. Let's move on, hyperdimensional detective. Y yeah. See you later. Echo responds by weakly waving her hand goodbye. Well, not too bad off so far. At the very least, the game's consistently cute looking. Even with characters that aren't my thing like zombies. Though, I do find it interesting, I was expecting the game to kind of mention these themes, but honestly, aside from just looking Halloween-ish, no one's really even mentioning the fact that these characters are like, like I'm being led around by a witch or I just met a zombie or whatever. This is the school gym. Usually it's not as crowded, but now is the after school activities time. People here are all members of the sports club. Hey, you, who's that? Oh, wait. Hey, you, who's that? Oh my gosh, cat girl. She's, she's actually pretty cute, too. And she has a nice steam. Ah, oh, this makes me happy. Our new student. I'm showing him around the school. I might just have to go for Miss Cat Girl here. She appeals to me. Then again, I'll, I've got to admit the witch girl here has been my favorite design so far. I see. My name's N. Welcome to Tap School. Interested in sports club? I mean, not really, but sort of if I get to hang out with you. It's worth it. Let's see. Uh, 
I'm actually not entirely sure, um... Let me, give me a sec, guys. I'm just checking on something. You know what? That's fine. I'm not sure, but sports seem fun. Who do even does sports these days? All you need are some good old games. Hey, Cup. I agree, the costumes are cute. And I'm glad to see the chat's working right. Also, anime. <laughs> anime is not bad. Right, I love sports. That's because you're good at them, N. True. <laughs> I'm a cat, after all. You know, I guess being a cat... Uh, welcome back, NTF. I guess being a cat would make you naturally better at sports. Came back to me playing a completely different game, but hey, it's another cute one. And one more fitting for Valentine's Day. It's technically a dating sim. Though, I think it's more just about being cute and silly. We're good at sports. What? You wonder about the cat thing. Weird clothes? HG, <laughs> just go with it. I mean, I didn't... My character didn't seem as concerned with the person who is literally a zombie. I don't know why I'd be concerned with the cute cat. Anyways, we should be going. Where to next? Our last stop is at the infirmary. Verisi should be there at this time. Okay, see you later. Yep, a spoopy dating sim. Love or die. As I titled the stream. It's pretty, pretty good name. If I'm gonna be honest, it kind of sounds like a, a weird game show. I'd watch Love or Die. And runs back to the other sports club members. Let's go! Okay, this is our infirmary. If you get injured, go straight here. Our health committee member is here almost all the time, too. Hmm? I can't see anyone. Oh, she's probably asleep. Very sing. I, this, this is the hardest name to say by far. V very sing? I don't know. I, what, what do you guys think? Uh, how would you pronounce that? Are you here? Breezing! Blah! Whoa. She has a pretty intensive theme. She's also the strangest character. Look. Um... Indie game stand, uh, th that is a placeholder. Hopefully I'm not wrong, but I think that that's a general thing you put for, like, any indie game, question mark? That at least seems to be the case. You scared me! Who is that? A new student? Sounds... Well, it looks like the game is still not too loud. If anything, it looks like I'm, uh, peaking high- or getting closer to peaking than the game is. Yep, he joined us today! Hi, I'm Vrise, health committee member. If you get injured or feel sick, I'll take care of you. I just noticed her teeth. She's a vampire. That's what's up with her. Okay. And that's why she has a blood pack. Uh, I'm Hyper Dimensional Detective. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Veeves, you all busy as always? Yeah, I wouldn't mind someone else joining the health committee. Join me if you like, HDD. Wanna play nurse? Wink, wink. <laughs> Don't want to disappoint you, but there's no fan service in this game. I am- I am very disappointed. How dare you? Let's head back to the classroom. Sorry for taking your time. Don't worry about it. Oh, who's that? Or say there's an injury in the gym. 
Again? Coming right away. So let's see. Assuming that we only get a choice of the three clubs we've seen, what do we want to go for? Do we want to go literature club for a zombie? Uh, I'm thinking sports club, because sports club has a cute cat girl. Or wellness club, which has a uh, vampire that we just met. I mean, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, unless the chat just, like, really goes all out in one way, I'm probably going to go for the cat girl. Or if I can go, uh, nice, I got the transcoding again, that's rad. I'm happy. I don't think that many people are going to show up to watch me stream a random ass, uh, like, visual novel like this, but hey. I'm down. I'm guessing there's probably not that many people streaming this time of night on freaking Valentine's Day. But I don't got I don't got anywhere else to be. So, how do you like the game? Uh, I mean school. How do you like the school? I mean, I barely played the game. School's nice, I guess. <laughs> Seems fun. Glad you like it. Thought you'd call it weird or something. Oh, what's that over there? You, what's that? Oh, that's a Halloween dance poster. A dance party will be held at Tap School. <laughs> yeah, I know. This game seems to be pretty frequent with that, but a lot more upbeat about its fourth wall breaking. I mean, it makes it even more weird that this game actually does have a literature club that I can join. I'm half tempted to just for theming, because uh, we had one last time, but I also kind of want to avoid it like the plague, because fuck that. I don't want to go back to the literature club. Everyone's participating in preparations. You have to come. It'll be really fun. Stop, stop, stop. I almost missed my cue. Time to explain things. Find a date before the Halloween dance. That's your main objective. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Why? Well, why not? I mean, who wants to be alone at a school dance like some kind of loser? Fuck. I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I probably just wouldn't go because that was kind of my... That was what I did during actual high school dances. Like, I didn't go to prom or anything stupid like that. Just listen to me and don't repeat my mistakes. I'm here to help, after all. What do you think? <laughs> okay, this one I actually want to save on. Man, I love the stylization of the menu. It's kind of funny that I think the menus have some of the best looking stuff in the game, because I actually think this looks super rad. Like the cobwebs and the harsh red. Kind of makes me think of Persona 5, honestly. Except, you know, Persona 5 wouldn't have cobwebs. But yeah. Anyways, I'm good. That's the spirit. Wait, what? Why do you, why do you even play this game? End. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even get to the good part. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> At least I think that's pretty funny. I'm glad I saved. Apparently this is the kind of game where you could just... Just end it. <laughs> I don't want to go to the dance. Okay then, don't play the game. I'll find a date. That's the spirit. Hyperdimensional detective, you were spacing out. <laughs> Yay, I won. We're almost there. So, have you decided where do you want to join? Choose wisely. Come class rep, join literature club. Okay, so class rep would probably be pumpkin girl. But it doesn't really feel like the game's leading me towards that yet. I think I would rather start with the sports club and then maybe go to... Then maybe second playthrough will be class rep. So, you're into sports. Great, I'll inform Ed about it. 
You can go to the gym tomorrow after class, and we'll tell you about their activities. Okay, thanks you. Yay, I get to go hang out with a cat. Good morning. The real thing begins now. I know you don't want to sit through all these bo those boring classes. Let me use my superpower and let's just skip to the interesting part, shall we? Sounds good to me. I don't need to do high school again. High school was bad enough when I actually did high school. Well, uh, let's go to the gym now. I also wish I had a magical fairy voice inside my head that let me just skip paying actual attention in my high school classes. Whoa, hyperdimensional detective! You told me you joined the sports club. Great choice! We mostly just play different team sports, but with the Halloween dance coming up, we need to run errands and help with preparations. Since you just transferred, you'll only need to pass some messages for me, okay? So, basically what you're saying is that as someone who just joined a sports club, I won't actually be playing any sports? Weird. Okay. Sure thing. Sounds simple enough. Great! Oh right, I almost forgot. There, it's a key to the gym. Your responsibility will be to lock it every day. It's important, so don't forget about that. Today, you can watch us practice. C cool I mean... That actually sounds really, really boring. I mean, if I were actually there to join the sports club and not hang out with a cute cat girl, I would probably be really upset. I mean... How often does that happen? You go to join a club and they're like, Good for you! We all- we- we need a new- go sit in the corner! <laughs> sit on the bench and watch others- members play basketball. N is clearly the strongest player. Wow, she's really quick. Her movements almost seem... supernatural? <laughs> hey, don't just ignore me. She doesn't seem to get tired, too. But most importantly, are those ears real? <laughs> nah, no way. I mean, I guess that is an important part. Because I, I want to touch him. Fluffy ears are fun. Practice ends. N walks up to you. Not tired at all. We're wrapping up for today. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, okay, I accidentally hit the scroll wheel. Got it. How do you like it? It was fun. Yes, I really enjoyed watching you play these sports. Yes, ears. What fluffy ears and tail. I want to touch it. I mean, it's not weird. Hmm? Sporty. Yeah, I've been told that before. You don't even seem tired. Because I'm not. This is nothing for a cat shifter. Eh? Cat. Shifter? Oh, right. You said she didn't tell you yet. Well, you see, this is not a regular school. Students who attend aren't all humans. <laughs> Apparently, my guy hadn't noticed, even though it's exceedingly obvious everywhere you turn. W what do you mean? I'll give you an example. You is a witch. Yep. You must have met Vivi and Echo. They're a vampire and necromancer, respectively. Funny, I thought Echo was a zombie. Echo is also a pretty cute name, though. And I'm a werecat, of course. So does that mean you turn into a cat? For real? Yep. Must be hard to believe, but that's the truth. Just go with it. I see. Shouldn't worry about being eaten or something. It's written all over your face. Everyone here is friendly. Even though some might be a little weird. Anyways, you can go home for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Ed. Oh, and don't forget to lock up. Got it. So, like, 
How did we not know before joining the class that it was, uh, like, not class, but the school, that it was full of, like, creatures? And so we will eat you in a friendly way. That's pretty kinky, NTF. But how did I know, not know, that this was a thing that happens? Like, I, I don't know, this is such a weird setup. But let's go to the gym. Hey! Hi. We won't be playing today. Oh, why? Er, one of the members died. I mean, got injured. Are they okay? Don't worry, it happens all the time. Isn't that bad? Happens more frequently during the week before the full moon. It's partially my fault. But everyone is very nice to me, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> You know, like, I only ripped the guy's leg off. He was... He seemed really nice, though. Like, he didn't mind that much, so who really cares? How is it your fault, though? Didn't I tell you the reason before? Right, it's because... the full moon. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. You're a smart cookie, aren't you? Werecat is not very different from other more well-known supernatural creatures, such as a werewolf. We don't get... Oh, we get moody the closer it gets to the full moon. Um, well, that's actually why more members get injured at that time. I need to direct all my energy into something, so I play sports. I... I mean, sure, that makes sense, but does that really fix anything if you're already mauling your own team members? Like... I don't know... I guess, uh, becoming aware of anything is quite a hell of an experience. <laughs> Gets, it's getting a little intense at times, so we don't allow human students to play a week before the full night. Full moon night. Oh, okay. So that's why I'm sitting around and watching you play sports, because I would probably totally actually die. Fair enough, I accept that. You told me sooner. What is th with this school? I guess it can't be helped though, not like you can choose who to, to be when you're born. In any case, I dealt with it my entire life, it's not something that bothers me. I have to report the incident, but I'm not worried about the member who- Oh, but I'm worried about the member who got injured. Can you please check up on them meanwhile? Sure. Are they in the infirmary? Yep. I'll catch you later then. Okay, so even picking a route, we still go between the uh, different places. Should be in the infirmary office. Yes, yes, come in. If you end up with N, you could get a pair of ears, too. You know, that's a fair point, NTF. She'll probably end... Knowing how she's apparently violent, she'll probably end up biting me, too, anyways. Man, th this, like... I actually don't know if I like, uh, Veer's theme or not. It, like, punches me in the gut. It is really loud, comparatively to a lot of things, you know? Actually, I might turn it down a little. Um, I can't from here. I think I'll turn the uh, the game down like just a couple notches. Hyperdimensional detective! I didn't expect to see you here. You aren't injured, are you? Ah, oh, no, I'm okay. That's good. What do you need? Came to check up on the sports club member. Means you joined, eh? Yeah. That's great, but be careful. And you shouldn't play before the Halloween dance is over. And already told me. Though, I don't really get why. Don't worry, it's normal that you don't understand. But, but she just told you. Like, she is literally... She could literally murder you. Not a lot of humans know about us, after all. Us. But there's an entire school of you that I somehow joined. What is even going on? <laughs> right, N said something 
but um, spelling. Various being a vampire. It does look a bit pale, but it's so hard to believe. Oh, is it really? Man. I don't, I don't get you, Mr. HDD in the game. Your member is okay now. They just need to rest for a little while. Sounds a little suggestive. It's gotten quite late, so you better go straight home. You're right. Thanks. You're always welcome. Bye. Sure. <laughs> that was very brief. Too much new information? No. Uh, I have the option to not go yet? I always forgot about looking the gym door. I should hurry. Oh. Okay, I'm good to go now. So, that's what that's about. <laughs> These decisions are... <sighs> you better go straight home. Well, I didn't. She can suck it. And I mean, to be fair, I didn't make a big detour. Yeah, that's what I was expecting NTF. I thought it was going to kill me. Like, I thought N was going to come out of nowhere and be like, I need blood! Or something. I need to eat someone. Enter the gem. N is not in sight. Decide to ask the other members where did she go. N? She's in the inventory room with you. Okay, thanks. Walk to the inventory room and see N and you discussing something secretive and evil. Huh? Ah, it's you. I wonder if there are any decisions. Like, I, I'm curious on that to see if the game ends up killing you over arbitrary things at some point. Or what, what actually happens in this game. Hi, hyperdimensional detective. Do you need something? No, I was just looking for you. I see. Well, he was helping me with some stuff right now, but you can stick for a bit until we're done. The more the merrier. Humans aren't allowed to play until the end of this week anyway. Okay, thanks. I'll try not to bother the two of you then. As I was saying, it would be much better with a magic barrier. Much safer, too. Uh, but magic makes me sneeze all the time. I don't know how that works, but sure. Hmm. Well, it worked until today, so I guess we can just think about it after the Halloween dance. Thanks, you. You're the best. Sure. And this is the decision that led to everyone dying. Because N would sneeze a lot otherwise. Okay, I have to go now. Vivi's waiting for my recipe. Tell her I said hi. Well, we have some more time left. Do you want to play? Play? Isn't it against the rules for humans to play? Right, I totally forgot. Seems like other members left already. Uh, I really wanted to play today. What you gonna do? Okay, well, now I have to try and get myself killed. The game's just begging me to. Let's play anyways. Rules are made for people to break them, aren't they? Um... <laughs> yeah, she's pretty forgetful about the uh, murderous intention she can have. Also, that is some amazing reasoning as to why I should do this. Really? Of course. Yay! It's time to play basketball with N. She isn't holding back and you seem to be losing pathetically. Although it doesn't bother you since N looks like she's having lots of fun. As the game progresses, her movements become even quicker and you start getting really tired. And then, what are you... What's wrong? Are you getting out of breath already, hyperdimensional detective? But we just started, didn't we? 
and don't break the rules. Uh, I was hoping they would say a little more with it. That's disappointing. So the, the death scenes aren't very drawn out, but I think we can pretty well assume that she basically just ate me. So I guess that's cool. <laughs> Uh, what a what a fun time! See, I this, I told you guys this is the perfect game for Valentine's Day, and it's accurate. I I didn't love very well, and I died. There you go. Also, I love the, how the voice inside my head practically encourages me to, like, what are you gonna do? Like, I don't know, man, maybe not get myself killed? We could chat instead, what do you think? Hmm, chat? Works with me. Wouldn't have much fun playing just by ourselves anyways. Yeah, that sounds about right, NTF. You and N talk until it's time for both of you to go home. What, we don't actually cover any of the discussion? Man, I'd love to have some small talk with my cat, girl, whatever. You part and go to the classroom to pick your bag. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that the- I feel like this game's very scant on details and it seems to move really fast. There might end up being a point to that, but Really, it just sort of... I mean, it feels like it's going to be a really short experience and kind of simple. I mean, I don't think this game's going to have... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for NTF. You probably talk about the people she's eaten. Sounds about right. The Halloween dance is almost here. Didn't forget about finding a date, did you? Why don't you invite N? You seem to get along. I don't know. I get the feeling maybe maybe the plot twist is that you die no matter what you do. Like, it kind of feels like dancing with a werewolf a were cat on a full night is a bad idea, considering that it's not even a full moon yet and she already murdered me once. Looks like Nona's is in the gym. You signed to ask someone if the practice was cancelled. Come in. Hyperdimensional detective, why don't you have practice? I thought so, but there's nobody in the gym. <laughs> yeah, maybe the one where you don't play the game is the best one. Maybe the title's a lie. Maybe it's love, die, or, or don't try in the first place. That's weird. Ah, that's right. Tomorrow is the full moon. Sports club activities are cancelled every month. Oh. Don't worry about it. You're probably free to go straight home. Okay, thanks. Sure, no problem. See you later. Well, why don't you go and look for N? Cask her off the dance today. I, I guess I'm gonna just. I guess I don't get a choice in that. For some reason the inventory's room do door is wide open. As you walk closer, you notice scratches on the wall. Where did these come from? Hear a rustling sound inside the inventory room. Anne is lying on the floor, unmoving. Her hands are covered in blood. What happened? I should... Um... Well, I have a few choices this time. Let's ask the magical girl for help. Because it seems like uh, the witch is the one who's least likely to get me killed in this uh, case. H hang in there. I'll bring help. Because, I mean, 
It said her her claws are covered in blood, which probably means she's the one who murdered somebody. Mm. Astrum, you must be there. You! Whoa! Hyperdimensional detective! What happened? It's N! I found her on the inventory floor covered in blood! Th that's really bad! Good thing you found me so quickly. You should wait here, okay? Don't leave the classroom, B but don't leave. Okay, please hurry. You wait for you in the classroom as you are told. Some time later, you hear footsteps in the hallway. Phew. I, I get the feeling I made the correct choice in picking the uh, one who's magically inclined here. You! How's Zen? She's okay now, resting in the infirmary. You can go check up on her. Don't worry, nothing serious has happened. It's all thanks to you. I'm glad you went straight to here. Yeah. I'll go to the infirmary. I am curious what would have happened... Why am I calling it, like, a weird infirmary? Infirmary, I think is what it is. Uh, I, I am curious what happens if I pick the other choices, though. I might, like, save, load, and see what I can have happen if I just, like, call, it, call the ambulance. Yeah, I think I'll do that after I get in here, actually, just out of curiosity. Can I, uh totally just get some people killed like an asshole, because that'd be funny. <laughs> I mean, that's just not like something an asshole would say. That'd be funny if I just got everyone killed. Hello? There's an emergency at TAP School. What do you mean you don't offer service to TAP School? Hello? Hmm? Hyperdimensional detective, did you come to play? And what are you? Dead. Okay, so the only one I can get killed is myself. Almost there. <laughs> the only one I can get killed there is myself. Uh, does that. But what about the other student? Is it correct no matter which of the other students you pick, or. Um. I'm curious then. Because I would think that asking. Well, I feel like asking the one who's magically inclined makes sense, because she probably, um, did a magical barrier or something, maybe? It's locked. You hear someone's footsteps behind you. Oh. Are you okay? What happened? I came to play. What are you saying? Let's play it. If I catch you... You die. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> These are some good options right here. Run. But you aren't fast enough. <laughs> oh wow, we got a special scene for this though. I win. Cute. It was cute. Bad end. Yeah, well, I mean... At least I was killed by a cute cat girl? Yeah, okay. So I made, <laughs> I made the only correct decision first try. See, I'm good at games. I don't, th I don't think anybody can claim that I'm not good at arbitrary visual novel games. Not that it even really matters, because, I mean, I wanted to see them anyways. I think the bad end is... So, so far, me dying horribly to the girl I'm trying to date is, like, the most entertaining part of this game. Because, <laughs> I don't know, it's just so silly to me. I'm gonna try to go to the dance with a girl who's killed me three times over so far. I mean, I know the main character has no way of doing that, but... Did you come to see N? Yeah. She's over there. Hey! N, are you okay? Totally! There's nothing for my regeneration. That's good. Hey, do you want to go to the Halloween dance together? 
I didn't have to ask her. Eh? Well, sure. Cool. Aren't you supposed to say it rest, though? Nope, I'm already full health. Man, you sure did help. You, I guess your health bar is just really good at regenerating. Thanks to you, you cast a spell or something just in time. I'm actually allergic to magic, but she came up with a temporary solution. That's why I don't sneeze all the time. Otherwise, Vivi and you are being worrywarts. I heard that. Whoops. <laughs> I'll see you at the dance. Yeah, see you there. You know, actually, that's a fair point. I'm curious how dating every- Whoa. That's cute. But wait, who's that? That's not me. I don't think that's me. I should save. You dressed up as a werewolf? Oh, that is me. Nice. We match. Alright. <laughs> I, I agree, NTF. I don't think they're overreacting at all. But actually, we do make a pretty cute couple. Look at me. I even got a, a cool choker. And she has a really cute collar. Oh my gosh, I just love fuzzy things, despite the fact that she's murdered me a couple of times. Oh, good end. So I'm just gonna cute picture it, that happens. Wow, that really was brief. Well then... Hmm... <laughs> I'm gonna- I'll go, like, more at this game, get the- get the rest of the, uh, dates and stuff, I guess, but in all honesty, um, I wouldn't have expected a werecat to be so vicious either. Uh, in all honesty, yeah, this game isn't, like, it is far from peak amazing, but it was free, uh, and it's cute. And I guess, realistically, that's all I really was expecting anyways. Um, it is it is nowhere near the worst I've had. Out of just randomly selecting a, a game. So, I think I'll give it a... I'll give it a thumbs up. I wouldn't say there's a lot of... You know what? You're kind of right, NTF. I also want to see more of the death scenes. I also want to hang out with you more. She so far seems like the coolest character. You want to become a class rep? That's great! Let's work well together! I'll explain our... Dutes? D d sure. D dutes? I, I don't... <laughs> So say duties. Tomorrow, after school, so you can go home now. Okay, see you tomorrow. I mean, I want to see how you kills me. Good morning. Thing begins now. No one wants that they're boring classes. So hopefully you guys are enjoying watching this. I mean, I'm having fun playing it, honestly. Like I said, ta-da! Yeah, it's cool. Yeah? You spaced out again. Something on your mind? More like in my head. What? Are you talking about me? Don't ignore me. Anyway, let me explain what you'll have to do as class rep. In the middle of preparing for the Halloween dance, everyone has their own duties. Mine is to prepare recipes for snacks and drinks. Since you just transferred here, you'll be assisting me with this task. Cool. Sounds fun. Everything clear? Um... As a matter of fact, it isn't. Hmm, I thought I explained everything. Sorry, our explanations must have been unclear. Dude, it was easy peasy. Guess it'll be easier to just show you everything then. Okay, that doesn't really see- Like, I guess not every decision is life or death. Uh, I think I'd rather just say yep. Great! You're a smart cookie. Let's go to the library. We need to research a few ingredients I picked out. Okay, so there's no real reason to make yourself look dumb. 
Okay, here are the books we need. All you have to do is find these. Maybe you do NTF, I'm not sure. Maybe if you make the girl, like, specifically unhappy, you get a bad end at the end rather than a cute picture. Down at a piece of paper you put on the table. Uh, the paper contains several weird symbols you have never seen before. What are these? I don't know. What, what are these? Hmm? Oh. You're not supposed to understand, so don't worry. Just try to find them in this book. The words are like drawings, so it shouldn't be that hard. Is this... Some kind of witchcraft? Probably. You're right! I'm surprised that you knew! I mean, it's... It was a joke attempt, actually. I mean, it seemed pretty obvious to me. See, I'm a witch. Well, not exactly a witch witch. I'm an apprentice. You're really, you're, you're a really cute one too, actually. I mean, though I went for the cat first, uh, you here actually has my favorite design. I love the, the orange and purple. I think it goes really well together. And I don't know why, but her little, like, ja uh, jack-o'-lantern wand just makes me smile. That is amazing. I kind of want one, actually. <laughs> uh... Don't worry. Regular humans rarely know about me and others. Others? Don't look at me, even if you actually can't. It's a spoiler, so I can't tell you. But you're a witch too? Send your time helping you. We've done a lot. Thanks to you, we finished everything in one day. <laughs> you probably end up killing yourself or something. I wouldn't be... Oh, wait. Maybe I, uh, you, I already read that. But I wouldn't be surprised, NTF. Glad I could help. So what's next? Let's see. I have some other errands to run, but you can go home. I'll go easy on you the first day here. Tomorrow we'll visit uh, the girl in the infirmary. Why do we need to go there? To mention, but it's Vivi's responsibility to approve all my recipes. We'll probably just drop them off, though. Okay. It's weird. Does she have to approve your recipes to make sure they don't kill people? See you tomorrow. Meet, let's meet in front of the infirmary after class. I'm doing it again, infirmary. It's infirmary. I don't know how to English, guys. What even is the English language? I don't understand. I have to go meet you. You. You're here. Let's go. Vivi should be in here. Well, so far, I haven't uh, found a way to die, but I think, uh, generally, the ways to kill yourself become more apparent, um, like, I think, I think it probably follows the same pattern. I'll probably be able to die more easily the further in I get. Dropping by to leave the recipe for the dance. Oh, already? That was fast. Yep, I got a great helper this time. We finished all these in one day. Can pick the approved ones after school. Sounds great. Need any help around? I have more errands to run, but Hyperdimensional Detective here is free for the rest of the day. Hmm. Actually, I could use a hand. Hyperdimensional Detective, could you sort some of the meds that got delivered today? Sure. Great. I'll see both of you tomorrow. Sorry for the trouble. I'll work on the recipe reviewing over there. Ask me if you need anything. Got it. Hmm. Here, v Vivi quietly hum while she works. Meanwhile, you take the medicine out of the box and put it on the shelves. I, I am... It's, it is that weird point. At this point, I'm just kind of sitting here reading and hoping that I find uh, more death scenes. <laughs> Hmm, 
What's wrong? Uh, you and her ridiculous ingredients. She's a witch apprentice, I get it. But because of it, she wants to experiment a lot. Not that it's bad or something. What's the problem, then? Hmm, how do I word it? Her specialty is... Deadly, I guess? I knew it! Huh? What I'm trying to say is her recipe is kill easily and successfully. <laughs> Most of the potions, that is. Ah, uh, good. Yes, I am glad that she's the one making the snacks for the dance. That only makes complete sense. It's a good, it, it is a good idea. What? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Nothing you should worry about. Let's say you really likes to experiment. She's just always lacking a guinea pig and might go overboard with her methods. Ah, good. I don't think, I don't think V- Like, I'm sure they'll- she'll kill me at some point if I go hang out with her, but right now Vivi seems like the least dangerous thing in the school. What the? Doesn't make me feel any better at all. Um, why is she responsible for snacks and drinks then? That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, well... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I see you're almost done with the meds. Thanks a bunch, I can finish on my own. Sure. Hey, don't worry too much about what I just said. All recipes are approved by health committee, so nothing at the party is gonna kill you. Haha, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Good, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Cool. This can only end well. Though, yeah, it's kind of funny. The vampire seems to be... Well, I, I don't know. Not, maybe not the vampire. Actually, I guess pretty much everyone except for the necromancer seems to be relevant to everyone else's stories. So far, the necromancer has kind of just not existed. Uh, actually, no, yeah, I guess the, 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 never mind, it is true, the, uh, I feel like the health, the vampire is the most important character to the story, because so far it's not like we've encountered, uh, the cat girl any in the witch girl story. You said we will pick up yesterday's papers today. I'm gonna drink some water, I'm getting thirsty. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Cur cures you of all pain, because dead things don't feel pain. Sounds about right to me. Are we going to the infirmary now? Why do I keep Not right now. I actually wanted to ask you to drink some tea. Think of it as a late welcoming tea party. Sure thing. Great, wait here. I'll bring everything to the classroom. Ah, good. Didn't I learn yesterday that this was probably a mistake? Pew! That's everything! Let me pour you some! <laughs> that would be kind of funny and yep. And then he died. Thank you. My own recipe, I hope you like it. Her own. Your own. Oh. Are you gonna drink it? you gotta. Thanks for the tea. Decided to give it a try. It's delicious. Really? I'm glad. Said it's your own recipe? Mm-hmm. I still hasn't tested it. I still hasn't English. I was worried it might not be good. Oh, what's wrong? I... Breathe. Speak up, it's difficult to hear you. Chest is filled with a burning pain sensation. I'll have to write down these symptoms later. Hmm, there's no blood from this sample. Interesting. 
HDD, could you tell me? Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? How painful is it? Can you not breathe? See? Hear? I want to know everything! <laughs> well, I died. You got a poison apple. Oh no. I but mean, it wasn't an apple, it was tea! How dare you? <laughs> she didn't seem that concerned, though. She was pretty happy to just be- to just be excited that I was dying. Yeah, apparently they're all secretly evil. The cat girl I at least kind of understood. It seemed to be more of an instincts thing. You here seems pretty content to just murder people. Uh, on her own terms. <laughs> oh wait, I loaded the wrong save. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, you know, Vivi's probably waiting for us already. Hmm. We probably should hurry, shouldn't we? I guess so. Decide not to drink the tea. Yeah, the choice of backing down from the game seems to be the way to go. You looks a bit sad. Well, that's her own goddamn problem. Looks like you is still sulking at you. Hmm. Come in. Yeah, you're probably right, NTF. I can't imagine surviving very long at this school. You know, this is one of those cases where it brings up the question of where are the teachers even? Like, they don't seem to regulate this very well, and this school seems kind of like it's a place where people... In fact, that's probably why I'm here. This is probably a place people just sort of go to die. Like, normal people. They get sent in to be eaten and experimented on, or, you know, whatever. Whatever the students want to do. Who cares? Hi. Hi, Vivi. What happened? Er, uh, well... Did you try to make him drink that tea, you... I knew it. Don't worry about it. She offers that to everyone new. It's a good thing you didn't drink it. But really? Yeah, it's always random. Used concoction might either kill you straight away, or just taste weird. Or both. Should I even be scared anymore? You should be- you should probably be terrified. To be honest, I don't think I would hang out with someone who- who I just found out tried to poison me. For- for the fun of it, really. Better be careful, yeah, that's for sure. Oh, but sometimes used tea is super delicious. You think so? Totally. Mm. Remember the tea you made after that extra poisonous one with the weird herbs? Oh yeah, you said you really liked that one. Might be because I made it special for you, Viv. I added some of my favorite B blood type in there. <laughs> Apparently so, NTF. This, uh, I think my theory holds all the more weight here. You really remembered. Of course. Poison, blood, what's next? Ah, we actually came to pick up the approved recipe. Okay, just wait here a second. Vivi takes out two folders from the nearest drawer. Surprisingly, she hands them to you instead of you. HDD, I asked to make sure you uses the right folder. Otherwise, everyone will probably die if they try any of the Halloween dance maps. What the fuck? Okay, see, with this game's going really dark and nonsensical, I kind of love it because that's so stupid. 
It's so stupid, it's amazing. I'm gonna give- I have to give this to her assistant or she will literally kill everyone. Here, approved and disapproved folders respectively. Ah, uh, what? What? Um, I still see it. taking something out of that. Don't mix them up, okay? Got it. Thanks, Vivi. We'll go now. See you later. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully everyone else is having fun. I just, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, probably so on TF. You and you head over to the classroom. Leave the folders on the teacher's table for now. We'll come back for them another time. Are you going home? Mm, no, not yet. I want to make more potions. Uh, okay, bye. Bye, hyperdimensional detective. Still, I, I think this is, has been a pretty good game for Valentine's Day. I mean, this is pretty much my average Valentine's Day, getting murdered uh, several times over. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. I'm, I'm just being dumb. You didn't forget your main objective, did you? Why don't you ask you to your, be your date, hmm? She's cute, right? Well, yeah. What was that? Uh... Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I thought you were saying something. It's okay, don't worry. I was just talking to myself, ha <laughs> ha. I see. Well, we're ahead of the schedule, so I was thinking we could just chat for a bit. Sure, sounds great. Ooh, get to know each other time. So, um, how does one become a witch? I'm glad you asked. It's similar to how you graduated school, have slightly different homework, and I also kill a lot more people. Homework? Yeah, like learning different herbs or making potions. And it's super fun too. On your good di on good days I can create really effective poisonous potions. It it's actually my hobby. I I see. Uh it's dangerous. Isn't it dangerous? Huh? What are you talking about? Your potions can kill, don't they? It's not safe to make them. I don't really understand what you're talking about. Poisonous potions are... the best. I agree, NTF, she would. Don't you think? What was that? Second I thought her eyes looked really dangerous. Anyway, let's wrap things up for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Have some last things to do before the Halloween dance. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm? Drop my bag in class. Better go and pick it up. I feel like this one's gonna kill me, but we'll see. Stop in the front of the classroom door. Seems like someone is still inside. Look through out the door window and see you standing next to the teacher's table. What is she doing? You hold the folders Vivi gave you the other day. Did she just swap the covers? Uh oh. She's looking this way. Hide. Quickly <laughs> duck and crawl on the floor until the classroom is out of sight. Why did I even listen to that? If I had to go home. Wait, I, I'm just going home? Oh, she switched the recipe. Time to go home. Who even cares? If everybody dies, that's okay. I don't care. Then you have to pick out the recipes to use at the Halloween dance. Can you pass me the folder Vivi said has approved recipes? Nod and go to the table where you left the folders. So which folder is the right one? 
don't even remember. These symbols look all random to me. Uh, that being said, I also kind of want to load, uh, did she... What if I... It's nice that you have a hobby, even if it's deadly. Yep, I want to become a qualified witch as soon as possible. I'll root for you then. Thank you. Anyways, let's wrap things up for today. I'll see you tomorrow. So, is that just it? Yeah, okay. So, it is something that doesn't really affect the uh, immediate, at least not very obviously. Let's just pick one. But I kind of want to pick the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. Um, did I, I think I actually saved here. I should have saved this spot earlier, because I actually didn't get the full west... Okay, that was... What? Okay, I don't actually get it. Oh, is that what go what's going on? The text doesn't isn't rendering properly? I guess I'll just pick one. Let's pick this one. Here we go. Thanks. Do it for a little, I'll make you one of these and you can taste test it. Sure. Proved by Vivi, it should be safe. I... <laughs> I say that like it's not a stupid idea that might just get me killed if I mess up. Apparently, I don't have a lot of sense of self-preservation. I guess that's why I'm still going to this stupid school. Thanks. Looks fine. I'll give it a try. What do you think? It's really good. Is it? Yeah, it's delish. Dak. What is this? Head starts spinning. Who would have thought Vivi approved all my favorite recipes? Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, totally. It seems like you made the wrong decision after all. Game over for you? <laughs> Hey, this recipe turned out even better than I expected. Oh. I wasn't as cute as the bad end for the cat girl, though. Okay, so I think I picked the one with the unhappy face. I think, hopefully. Hopefully I picked the right one. No, no I'm not sure. I might have picked the same one again. I'll have to see. I, my memory's bad, and like, they're just a bunch of symbols. You picked the same one? Okay. Yeah, you're right. That's delicious, except for the part where I died, oh no! <laughs> okay, it's, it's the one with the unhappy face. Here. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, NTF. Uh, I, like, I totally don't actually hate N, because it seems, like, like I kind of implied before, she does murder people, and that's not okay, but she's also cursed, so I kind of get it. But you is just like, oh, hey, mm, I, I made a poison, and it was fun, and you died. Woo! I don't know. She seems really happy to do all of this horrible stuff to you. And to everyone, really. Basically, you is just a, a terrible person and a murderer. So, how is it? It's really good but really yeah and it looks great too i'm glad those were recipes i was the least confident in the best ones are probably all poisonous <laughs> yes they are 
That's what I thought, too. So, hey, how about you ask her to be your date? You don't have much... I don't really actually want to, to be honest. Okay. Hey, you. What is it? I was wondering if you'd agree to be my date for the Halloween dance. Oh. Sure, why not? I was so busy I forgot to find a date. I'll see you at the dance. See you at the dance. Okay, so hers, I mean, base, hers is one of the less complex ones. I mean, you basically die twice. And get to see her in a kind of cute dress, I guess. And I'm dressed kind of like a the weird Harry Potter character. But hey, green. I wore some green, that's good. Also, I don't have a proper face. Wait, I also have red hair. Wait, I could have sworn I had brown hair when I was a werewolf. Or did I have red hair before, too? Yeah, I'm really not sure. Hyperdimensional detective! Uh, did you try the cookies? They turned out better than I thought. Everything is delicious. You did a great job. <laughs> Thanks, hyperdimensional detective. Oh, yeah, I, I guess it is Ron, uh, Ron Weasley. Good end. That's why I have red hair there. Because I'm directly just being someone else. Alright, well, I guess I'll keep running through this game. You don't have one of those rare occurrences of me eating on stream, I think. Oh, I don't know. I, mm, how long have I been streaming? An hour? I'm not gonna eat on stream yet. I might grab something soon, though. I mean, the main problem is still the fact... Oh, shoot. Why am I doing this? It's just loading. Okay. Uh, I don't really care at all about Literature Girl. Let's just go... Uh, hang out with the vampire. She's my favorite so far. So you decided to play nurse after all, huh? She'll be super excited. Vivi joined the health committee even though she's actually anemic. Please look after her. She may look seem chipper most of the time, but she gets tired pretty quickly. Come to the infirmary tomorrow after lessons and she'll explain everything you need to know. I have to go now. Good luck. Thanks, Miss Evil. Good morning. Yeah, the real thing begins now, so I can skip through classes. That's nice and convenient. I mean, that's fair, NTF. I guess I kind of want to see how the literature club kills me. But I'm sure I will soon enough anyways. Like, I'm gonna go through all of the options. There's no real reason not to since this game is so short. Just give me a second. Sorry, I was taking a snack break. What happened? You startled me. Dude, you even scared me. What are you drinking? Hmm? Oh, that's just blood. Blood? Chill, it's just blood. <laughs> what? You keep startling me, HDD. In your defense, I'm really easy to scare. Why blood? Obvious dummy, cause I'm a vampire. Oh, no. I guess I should just, uh, sorry. It's okay, you must never met a vampire before. A vampire? Don't accidentally say something about the <laughs> something this rude out loud. I think it is fine though. Only I know what's going on in your head after all. Vivi is also the name of the creator? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Virisi. I still can't say that very well. That would kind of explain why she seems to be the most important character in the game. Vampire, V for Viz and for Vampire. Cool spelling lesson, bro. Ah, you don't have to worry. I <laughs> wonder if you can date the voice in your head. 
Uh, interesting thought, NTF. I have plenty of blood stored in here for now, so I don't drink yours. For now? They don't allow me to bring it outside the infirmary, but I spend most of my time in here anyways. That's one reason why I joined the health committee. Handy, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. V, there's an accident in the gym. Coming. Thank you. The student hurriedly leaves the room. We didn't have time for the briefing. Don't worry, it's better to see than hear anyways. Gym accidents aren't rare, so get it so start getting used to them. Let's hurry. Aw oh, yeah. Time to be the d d medical agents at uh, fucking Evil Academy. I, I don't know. Health committee here. Who's injured? Probably shouldn't let her, let her give you an examination. Uh, probably right, NTF. We're good to go. Be careful next time. Thank you, Vivi Senpai. Huh? Told you to stop calling me that. You're their Senpai, though. And... Hey, hey! So you got new blood to yourself. New blood, you get <laughs> probably. <laughs> Stop it, voice inside my head. I probably don't want her to actually drink my blood. Because she's a vampire. No? Eh, whatever. I got lucky for once. Tell your members to be more careful, though. You know what might happen if... I know, I know. wonder what they're talking about. Well, that's a spoiler. I can't tell you. I don't see you often lately. See me every day because of all these injuries. Haha, <laughs> that's true, actually. I've only killed, like, 20 people this month, though. But I mean, before that, you were playing a lot. Your vampire half gives you great agility. Half? You don't know? V, didn't you tell? Ah, whoops. And... Sorry. It's fine, you'd hear about it sooner or later. I'm actually only half vampire. That's why I can't use my powers much. I'm smiling, but she seems slightly uncomfortable now. Ah, uh, I don't actually know what's best to answer. You really think so? Yeah, I like it too. See? He's a nice one. I told you it doesn't matter if you're half-blooded. I guess you're right. Nice one, HDD. Anyways, thanks for the help out there again. Always welcome. Also, the name of a good programming editor. Huh, that's interesting. It's our job, after all. You did well, too, hyperdimensional detective. Take care of our V. Hey, I can take care of my self. Stop babying me, N. Not only you, but you as well. I passed out just a couple of times. No big deal. Passed out? Yeah. Anemic, remember? Right. And what if this happens? Exactly. Do spoilers or a no-no? And Senpai, show us that move again. Yeah, yeah. See you later, health committee. Let's get back. V? What is it? Soon called you Senpai, but I haven't seen you in the class. It's because I don't attend any. What do you mean? Because of my, uh, condition, I can't really leave the infirmary for too long. I have to snack often and always not off, so there's no point in sitting through classes. Uh, well, why do we even go to school then? I mean, not to be that guy, but doesn't it make more sense if she just didn't? If she can't even go very long without a snack and the school doesn't let her carry her snack around. To be honest, I don't see why the school wouldn't. I mean, it kind of confines her to the infirmary. 
uh, infirmary if if she's like you know has to suckle on blood packs all day and she can't take them elsewhere. Anyways. I'm gonna go <laughs> I guess you can claim that NTF, but I'm probably not going to last very long if my other roots have had anything to say about it. Drinking blood? I spend time at infirmary and self-study. To be honest, I mostly procrastinate. Surely you shouldn't look that happy about it. Did great today. I'm super excited you chose to join the health committee. You probably already told you that. Oh, I almost forgot. There, I'll give you the key to the infirmary room. Oh, but if the door is locked, it's better if you knock first. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna die, but I wanna see what kind of kinky shit I can see in here. It's kind of weird, but she looks serious. Remember things like that for your own good. I don't remember whatever I want to. You don't, you're not my dad, voice inside my head. Been a long day, time to wrap up. Go home now. Aren't you going home too? Yeah, I just need to do something before I go. Think of it as my daily routine. Okay, see you tomorrow. Ooh. Another day. <laughs> Dawn of the second day. Uh, 48 hours remaining. You? Do you need something? Yes, actually. Since you're going to Vivi, can you take these to her? Handful of papers. Oh, yeah. We've been. Uh, recipes that need to be improved. So we kind of go through this from the other side of things. So maybe I can also prevent everyone from dying in this playthrough. Hopefully. Just from the other side? Maybe I can just destroy the actual poisonous recipes? That's probably what I would do. <laughs> Vivi cheerfully waves as you enter the infirmary. This time you don't see any blood packs. She always has one in her portrait, but whatever. Somehow this makes you feel at ease. You asked me to give you these. Ah, I was waiting to get them. Thanks. Silent for a while, but there's no uncomfortable air between you two. V seems busy reading through the papers you passed to her. Psst. Why don't you ask her if she has a date for the Halloween dance? Okay. Hey V. Sounds like V is too concentrated to notice. Come on, somebody notice us. Try calling louder. V! Ta! Ah, don't scare me like that! Uh, yeah? Sorry, did you say something? Um. Ask her. Do you have a date for the Halloween dance? No, not yet. Bingo! Why do you ask? Just curious. Lame. Ask her to go together. I should just ignore it. Hey, don't ignore me! Okay, then. V went back to her work. So what, do I die if I don't ask? Or, like... I know what you are now. You're my chicken nugget. What? I know I chickened out. Like, what does it matter? Because I don't ask her anyways. Okay, so this is, like, a lot of the things you can or can't say to her don't seem uh, all that relevant. Hmm. 
But I got called a chicken nugget, so I guess that's interesting. <laughs> Fair enough, NTF. Finally done. What time is it? You have you have to go now, V. It's nothing. I just have to do something. Remember about that routine I told you before. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Suspicious. I like it. Let's get myself dead. <laughs> that was weird. Everything is weird to you. That was weirder than usual. What do you say, pal? Set home for now. Drop my bag in there. Better hurry and take it. Huh? It's opened just a few minutes ago. Did V leave already? What you gonna do? It's pretty obvious. Seems like there's no one inside anyway. Let's just go on in. There it is. Hmm? Pick up your bag and something on the floor catches your eye. Blood! Dark and sticky looking puddle of crimson red liquids trails to one of the bunk beds. Is someone here? Hyperdimensional detective? V? Why? Didn't... Home? I didn't hear you. What was that? V? You smell really nice, hyperdimensional detective. <laughs> I actually like that addition. You can see she's drooling a bit there. Perfect. Delicious! Dead. Woo. V. <laughs> you dead bra should've knocked first. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I wanted to see what kind of kinky thing she was doing. I didn't really get a good glimpse. She was just eating someone and then I got eaten too. Guess I'll knock. No answer. Ah, forget it. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about it. Better just leave. I don't have anything important in the bag anyways. Copious amounts of porn. What? Next day, when you get to the infirmary, the door is opened, but nobody is inside. I got here early to pick up the bag from yesterday. Now, where is it? Found you. Be in the room and stop for a moment. Um. Leave it open. In case it shouldn't take your key. First class is about to start. Hmm. I feel like I should probably lock it and maybe that'll get me killed. I'm not actually sure on that one. I mean, his, his reasoning is sound, though. If she forgets her key and can't get in... Yeah, yeah, let's let's go back in time and uh, ruin everything for everyone. I'll lock it just in case. First class out starts, so I better hurry. Woo, time to time to die <laughs> for locking someone out of the infirmary. Your class, you go straight there. Seems like you've already got used to rolling the health committee. What? Sand from the door that leads inside. It's covered in what appears to be nail scratches. Blood is smudged all over it. Looks as if someone was desperately trying to get inside. Mm. Hyperdimensional detective! You, what happened? V is missing! What? 
supposed to get back the papers, but she didn't come. We should find her. There's blood. You're right. I'll go and look in the library. You search the... No. You, it's like you're trying to get me killed. You're like the one person I would probably be safe with, and you're like, let's split up. You go search the gym and die by yourself, a hyperdimensional detective. But I guess I'm just gonna go be an idiot and die. I mean, okay, I know that she gets me killed constantly. But, I mean, if you're searching for a vampire, wouldn't you rather be with a witch than all by yourself? I wouldn't. I mean, it's pretty clear she has powerful magic outside of just, you know, murdering people with poison. Enter the gym and see someone on the floor. V, you run closer. V slowly sits up, her fingers are covered with blood, nails torn. She is looking down and her hair covers her face. Hungry. I'm so, so hungry. What happened? Are you okay? But yeah, I mean, that being said, for all I know, I could go with you and she would, like, save me from being uh, eaten by a vampire and then immediately poison me because it was funny. <laughs> she keeps mumbling something. Too quiet for you to catch. What should I do? <laughs> let's, try, let's try calling the ambulance again. An emergency in tap school. You, what do you mean you don't offer a service here? V, are you okay? Va, fresh blood. Thank you for the meal. Run. I forgot that it's locked. I left my key in the bag. Looking for something? You're a nice guy. You certainly wouldn't mind sharing some of your blood. I mean, you know, if it was just a little bit, you know, not not as much as you obviously want to take. So take her there. Pick her up and start running. Put her on the bunk bed. Where is it? You open all the drawers, searching for a blood pack. But in the end, you find nothing. You scared me. Are you okay? What'd you say? Hyperdimensional detective smells nice. Okay, so we get another custom uh, image here. Like, whether or not you get the official bad end or not sure is arbitrary, but I kind of like it. I mean, you get more advanced art, and that's always nice. Get a nice close-up to show that I got eaten. Also, utensils, huh? Feel burning pain in your neck. Your vision turns blurry. Everything is cold. Delicious. Huh? Oh no, not again. Hyperdimensional detective, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> At least she said she was sorry. So once again, like, that really just makes it all the more that you is just the, the real evil one. Because... At least the other two characters so far are just straight up cursed. Like... It, it does suck dying to buy someone's hand, but, I mean, she's, she actually even regretted it. And I can't really blame her for being a starving vampire. Though I guess I could blame her for not figuring out how to bust a door open with her vampire powers. I mean, come on. Gotta, gotta try harder than just scratching at it. Door open in case she can take her key. She didn't. That's, that's the only way to not die.
But yeah, you the you, it's kind of funny that they give you branching. <laughs> yeah, she, that's true. She also could have gone to try and find the janitor. Classes end. You go straight there. Um, I'm gonna ask her out. This is your last chance. Yeah, she definitely could have tried a lot more things than just murdering me, but what can you do? V is sitting at the desk. She seemed to be busy with more papers from you. What happens if I just don't ask her again? See you, when did you come in? Ah, uh, I just entered the room. I see. Well, we don't have anything important to do today. I'll be busy with last minute health related papers though, so you can leave early. Hmm? Is there a problem? Do you feel unwell? No, I'm fine. See you tomorrow. Let's hit the dance. Yeah, so does this nothing happen? Do I do another bad end? Well, that was lame. <laughs> and I have no idea why I didn't do it. Yep, and then that's exactly the case. And <laughs> yep, nothing happened. The end. My favorite ending. This is when nothing happens. Hey, V. Mm. I'm, not, I'm getting used to you being here. Do you need something? I'm also gonna nom a little bit here. Uh, yes, actually, I wanted to know if you'd go be my date for the Halloween dance. Huh? Y you what? You lost bait? I asked you want to be my date. Youth is wonderful. Shut up already, will you? Whoa, you surprised me. Yeah, I'll be your date. Let's have fun together. Woo. So we get another cute scene here. Yeah, we do. That's actually really cute. I think, uh, it's funny. I didn't think much of her when I first saw her, but I'm pretty sure so far that, um, V here, despite her name, is my favorite girl. She's, she is cute, and she has the most remorse when she kills you horribly. What more could I ask for in a girl than someone who regrets murdering me? <laughs> we look like real vampires! Isn't it awesome? V, you are a vampire. <laughs> I guess that's true. Let's hurry, we don't want to be late to the party. Good end. That was cute. She has my favorite dialogue. You are a vampire. <laughs> I guess. She'll be nomming a bit, but time to join the literature club. Oops, I'm gonna get my hand on this, I'm trying to eat my food here. Hmm. Mm. Let's share some good Halloween chocolate. Halloween? Holiday chocolate, jeez. I'm playing a spooky dating game, but it's Valentine's Day. It's a, it is a long way away from Halloween. Sadly. You're probably right, NTF. Let's go to the library. Nobody is there? Uh... Or someone further inside. The voice belongs to Echo. You fall and find her standing on her tiptoes, trying to reach for a book on the top bookshelf. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, the part where literally everyone dies all the time is sad and... Help her. Here she look and take it from the shelf. Eek! Okay, so they said she's a necromancer, but she looks undead to me. I mean, I see the necromancer part in her book, but she also has to be undead. She can see, like, her neck is, is stitched onto her body and she's a blue face. Really? I gotta say, like, character-wise, Echo seems the least personally appealing to me. Uh, just because I, I don't do undead and... Which is funny because you could claim vampires are undead, but most of the time, I feel like in more um, adult media, <laughs> I guess you could call it uh, vampires are usually, but it feels like they're getting further and further. There's usually less focus on how cold and awful they are. That's true, I guess at least Echo might bring me back after I die. You, you scared me. Sorry, I was trying to help. Oh, er, uh, thanks? Actually, putting it back, though. Oh. Okay, so that's not the way to impress her. Um, I'll just wait until she notices me. Echo seems easy to startle. Turns out Echo is putting the book back rather than trying to get it out of the shelf. You feel glad about your decision. Oh, HTD, I didn't see you there. You told me you decided to join the Literature Club. We don't usually do much here. I'm actually the only member, so, um, welcome. Thanks. Everyone's busy with the Halloween dance preparations lately. I actually was made responsible for the theme. Since you just joined the club, let's decide on that together. Oh, that does sound fun. Besides, that you... you Besides that you will deliver ordered books around the school. Deliver? Yeah, students often order books from the library. They used to come here to pick them up, but since you're here now, we can start delivering them. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun if there was some spooky poetry involved here. Why didn't you deliver yourself? Well, I don't like going out. I see. Who could this be? Book delivery. Please sign here. Y yes, thank you. I mean, <laughs> Echo does seem like the most crazy one, but she also seems like, I don't know, so far she's been reasonable, So, but I'm curious to see uh, where this goes for sure waited for these. She looks so happy, but necromancy for dummies? Zombie encyclopedia? How to trade a zombie? 1001 baking recipes by Gore Dead Samze. What kind of books are these? Ah, these are for V. Puts two huge books on the table. One of them has a vampire on the cover. The other looks very old. I know V likes supernatural fiction. Uh, yeah, fiction. Anyway, your final task is deliver these to the infirmary. V spends all her time there. Cool, I get to see her more. Hand you the books and a folded piece of paper. Okay, go straight home from there. I'll see you tomorrow after school. Sure. I'll uh, try and eat a little more, though. Honestly, um, I don't know if I ever told you guys this. The problem with dieting and then eating chocolate uh, after you're dieting, or any sweets really, is that it doesn't really, like, you actually become less accustomed to sweet things. So, like, this is literally the last one I can eat. I don't, this is not agreeing with me, but I kind of already opened it. And I'm hungry. Anyways, see a cup. Good night. I wonder what's written here. Why don't you sneak a peek then? You stop for a moment. Curiosity wins you when you carefully unfold the paper. Oh no, this seems like it'd be dangerous and contains unknown words and diagrams. Decide not to question it and go to the. Okay. So, surprisingly, little dying happened out of that. 
I, I would have assumed a lot of dying would have happened out of me looking into ancient books of evil. It's you! Do you need anything? Oh my god, are you injured? Join the sports club? No, I'm fine, I just brought these for you. Oh, sorry about that. People tell me I'm too emotional sometimes. <laughs> You're still my favorite. It's okay, don't worry. I was waiting ages to get these books. Means you joined the lit club then. Thanks for bringing them to me. Sure, Echo also said to give you this. Hmm? Let's see. Ah yes, I promised to look into this. Thanks again. I think you'll have to take it back to Echo tomorrow though. I'll finish after school. Sorry for the trouble. Neither of us leave our designated rooms much. <laughs> Like, seriously, that's actually- Now that I think about it, that's another one! What the heck? Why even is this school a school? Like, we have a vampire who doesn't really leave the infirmary, and a necromancer who doesn't leave the library. And I wouldn't be surprised if the cat basically never leaves the gym. Like, why even bother having classrooms at this point? <laughs> It's okay, I don't mind at all. Good, cool. Come pick them up tomorrow before you go to the library. Oh, Halloween. Still wondering what's on the paper? <laughs> the sad thing is you're probably right, NTF. The classrooms are probably for the food and the test subjects, and that's like it. Kinda. V! Mm. You're here already! Mm. Here's the promised. It's a thin notebook in addition to the paper from yesterday. Tell Echo I said hi. Oh, and under any circumstances, don't look inside that notebook. That doesn't make me curious at all. No, seriously, don't. Uh, okay. Okay, then. Bye. Oh. So this one would be my fault. That being said, it's kind of the problem of giving someone things and telling them... Don't look at it without really explaining yourself. I think I'm gonna do it. Blunt the notebook on your way to library. She told you not to, didn't she? What you gonna do? Fuck that shit, I wanna look at this. Nothing bad can happen after a small peek, right? You stop and open the notebook. It's filled with the many weird handwritten symbols that you still don't understand. Nothing happens. Huh, nothing happened. GD! Hi, did V pass anything to me? Yeah. Here, she also said hi. Yay! Thank you! Um... You didn't look inside, did you? N no? Okay, good. It would have been problematic if you did. Did you say something? Ah, uh, no, it was nothing. We well, don't have anything planned today, so you can go home early. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye! I'm really curious what's gonna happen to me. As long as the game's- oh, here we are. Ugh. I don't feel that well. Maybe I should stop by the infirmary. V? Come in, I'm not busy. So here's where the this is the kind of death that I wish the game had some more graphics cuz I get the feeling that I kind of want to see what's happening. Like am I turning into a zombie? What happened? You don't look good. Yeah, I feel kind of dizzy. Hmm, <clears throat> you were fine when I last saw you. Don't tell me. You looked in the notebook, didn't you? Say here, I'll bring Echo. <laughs> well, you know, what can you do? I think you read the ritual, Echo. 
Huh? Didn't you tell him not to? I, I did, but I guess he's stupid. Mm. Ah, I guess it's too bad then. Nothing we can do, right, V? I'll leave you to it then. I'm sorry. <laughs> she seems to be really excited. Almost even more than the other girls. Like, look at that blush. This is... It makes me think that she's gonna do something appropriate. Echo, huh? Body becomes colder with every heartbeat, which gradually slows down. As you're turning into a corpse. Shh. Seems like I got what I wanted a little earlier than expected. Well. <laughs> curiosity killed the cat. It sure did. Didn't really get into a lot of detail on that one. Probably because she goes, she turns me into a zombie. And that's either the good end for her or the bad end. I'm not sure which. <laughs> uh, either way, that was a thing that happened. Anyways, I'm gonna not look like a good boy because that's the only way I'll survive. I'm gonna listen to V. She seemed quite serious. You know what, NTF, I wouldn't even be surprised. HDD, I mean, that would also explain why it didn't go into detail. That's not exactly Twitch appropriate. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Not saying you saying that isn't just, you know, the game showed it. That'd be uh, another matter. Would V pass anything? Yeah, here, she also said hi. You feel strangely at ease after deciding to not look inside that notebook. I'm so curious, though. Dreading it? Not really. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. I don't know how I turn around it around. Yesterday's notebook seems very suspicious. What was that? Wow! Did I startle you? Seems like there's something on your mind. Nothing important. Okay, then. How are you doing in the lit club? Uh, I'm getting lit. Haha. <laughs> so Echo made you do it after all. Yeah, I don't mind it, though. Hmm? I was just wondering. Why was Echo the only member of the club? Well, for some reason, all previous members left TAP school. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, out of everyone else that I've had time with that it seems suspicious, I have actual confirmation that she has probably killed every other single member of the literature club. Or scared them off. But I'm gonna guess they probably died. Why? Who knows? You can try ask V. She know she's known Echo longer than anybody here. Okay, thanks. No problem. Let you go now. See you later. Or maybe he was just. A <laughs> that sounds like a familiar plot. It kind of does, doesn't it? So, yes, V about Echo. Yeah. Everything is too suspicious, just forget about it. Come in! Too suspicious indeed. It's you! You come here quite often. Almost feels like you two joined two clubs at the same time. Now can we just go out again, V? You're still my favorite. Actually, I wanted to ask something at the Lit Club. You told me that you know all the previous members left TAP school, or maybe why. Uh, well, I do know the reason, but I don't think you really want to know about it, or if I should be the one who tells you this. What do you mean? Okay, 
You should have already figured out that our school is different from others. You see students attending on all human, and the rare cat. If there was a human, at least she was. Her situation is different from mine, but in simple words, Echo turned herself into supernatural. She wasn't born one. I know it must be shocking to hear for a human. What happened, Echo? Um... She became a necromancer. It's sort of a hobby for her. I mean, I guess hanging around a school like this, I can't really blame her. If someone's going to try and kill you every other week, you might as well at least learn how to reattach your head. <laughs> so that's why she likes zombies so much. Yeah, that. And what about that personal project she was talking about? Oh, I've been trying to convince her to stop. The truth is... Oh no... V, there's an accident in the gym! Ah, oh, this fucking accident again. There's always accidents in the gym. It's all, it's all the same one, but still. So... Um... She's tr probably trying to make a... Chimera or something? A yeah, homunculus? I don't know. Something big and, and bad that humans aren't supposed to make and she's probably gonna kill everyone with it or something. Go to the library now. And she's probably used a lot of dead people for it. There's a sticky note. Go on the project. The library is closed until tomorrow. Again with the project. Lots of people around tomorrow. So, this game's been pretty decent so far. <laughs> that is also possible, MTF. It's probably the more fun possibility. <laughs> Don't know. Plans for today, HDD. I have to figure out what's going on. Hey, you. Do you need something? Anything about Echo's personal project? I don't think so. I have the library often. I mostly spend my time here. We don't talk any. Uh, why don't you ask V? Go, yeah, I'll just go talk to her again, because she's clearly the most important character in the game. No response. Guess she's out. Maybe I should check in the gym. Seems like the sports club is here. Hi there! You're the new one. Hi, N. If you're looking for V... Yeah, how'd you know? Tell me about your yesterday's chat. V is not around today, though. If you wanted to know more, just ask me instead. Okay, so do you know anything about Echo's project? Yep, heard of it. Something about turning school into a living graveyard. Huh? What do you mean, graveyard? I'm not sure myself. It's great hearing, but at the time, I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. Well, she's into zombies, right? Yeah. They tried to turn the entire school into zo- You were the most correct, NTF. She is trying to turn the entire school into zombies. I is that even possible? Yeah, why not? Echo's been asking V to aid her, too. When you mention it, she did ask V for help with some weird notes. You mean the ritual? I'll explain. There's one pretty well-known ritual that can turn alive to dead. I'm sure Echo knows all about it since it's her hobby. Is there a way to prevent it from happening? Not that I know of. Echo must really be into zombies, though. Everyone knows it's already... knows already, so... I'm not sure it was helpful at all. I have to go back to club duties. Good luck, HDD. Thanks, N. I should head to the library now. You know, this seems to be the second plot that if we weren't involved, it would somehow lead to the entire school's destruction. I mean, if we weren't gonna be poisoned to death, we would have been zombied to death. Uh, undead, whatever. When you enter the library, you don't see Echo right away. Echo, hey, over there. 
Like I was sitting on the floor between the bookshelves. She was trying to buy all sorts of different books. I'm just to decide on the Halloween dan dance theme today. To be honest, I'm a little excited. And sure, what do you have on y in your mind? Here, I made a list. Look at the list you handed to you. Dead zombies. Classy zombies. 90s zombies. <laughs> what, what kind of theming is dead zombies? What does that mean? Like... No, seriously, what does that mean? I think classy zombies is my favorite, though. Maybe 90 zombies isn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, pretty much NTF. What do you think? Well... Um... I like zombies? Really? No. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, I don't. Uh, the undead things are creepy. I mean, I like to shoot zombies, but I don't think that's what you want to hear. I don't think that's what you have in mind when you turn the full whole school into zombies. Yeah, they're the first thing that comes to mind when I think about Halloween. The first thing that comes to my mind is probably jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, and Corpse Party. Corpse Party is up there, so I guess ghosts for me. I see. I'm glad. She must really like zombies. You know, I always wanted to have a zombie party. Since you think it's a good theme for a Halloween dance, I think my wish will come true. That's great! <laughs> You're right, NTF. Your theories are becoming more and more solid. It's like you understand this game perfectly. Um, what about that personal project of yours? That... I don't think I need to finish it. We gotta prep for the dance now. How about you ask her? No. Hey, Echo. What's that? Do you want to go together to the dance, I mean? Dress up like zombies together. Should you listen to me? Wow. Don't ignore me. Now that we just started to become friends. Really? We dress up? Yeah, if you want to. Yes, let's go together. Okay. So I guess I've kind of got to, um... Shouldn't the theme be more open? Uh, you know, there are other creatures than zombies. Is she mad? Well, she did seem quite into zombies after all. Maybe I should have just agreed. So you don't like zombies then? Too bad. Somehow Echo's voice sounds colder than before. Guess that means I'll have to proceed with my project. <laughs> how my decision is the balance here where it's like if I say I don't like zombies she's just she's going to destroy the entire school but uh you know if I like zombies say she found a boyfriend you know changed her mind doesn't need to destroy everyone and turn them into zombies huh what was that Nothing, nothing. For Mona, her face looked really... Y Yandere? What? Never mind. More importantly, you still find yourself a date. Right. Hey, Echo. What is it? Do you want to get together on the Halloween dance? Uh, no. I have a project to work on. Well, I have to convince her to stop the project. I... You can go home now. What? I don't need you here anymore, so you can go home. Okay, see you later. No, I have to stop her. Are you sure you don't need anything? I can help with the project of yours. Actually, you can do something. It worked. Sure, what do you need? Well... I want you to check out that notebook. Oh, but didn't you tell me not to look inside? It's okay now, since you're helping me out. You say so? No! Why are you so dumb? Don't look in the notebook. 
How are you supposed to d d stop her if you kill yourself? You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's filled with weird symbols and diagrams I don't understand. Yay! Working already! Echo, what? Uh... <coughs> ah, there's even more blood than I thought! Well, and that's why you probably shouldn't trust necromancers when they tell you to do things. But hey, we have another special scene here. At least she looks happy. Thanks for helping me out, hyperdimensional detective. Alright. I guess it's time to go to the dance with her and save the school again. Even though they're not gonna save it for very long. <laughs> Looks like you prevented something bad from happening. Good job! Yay, I guess. For that, I have to submit the theme and help with some prep work. Okay, I'll see you later. I can't wait already. Woo. Prom night in... Oh. <laughs> I mean, I could claim that's cute, and it's sort of cute, but really, zombies are so gross. And also... More importantly, I was already kind of a zombie, so now this is just less exciting. Zombies are the best, right? Yeah, the coolest! You know, that's fair, and <laughs> yeah. Everyone turning to zombies might be better than everyone dying by being poisoned horribly. Uh, so, regardless of the fact that, theoretically, my choices don't matter because everyone's going to die anyways, um, I will still say Vampire Girl, still Top Waifu, uh, Cat Girl second, those, for this game, those are my two, um, Vampire Girl and Cat Girl for sure, and then uh, everyone else is just a murderer, <laughs> everyone else is, is like crazy. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a lot else to do with me. Like, th this was a very short- Actually, how long have- Yeah, I beat this game in two hours, and I- There might have been some slight things I didn't cover, but honestly, I-, I As far as I'm concerned, I have played this game to completion, uh, as far as I'm really willing to, so... I that was kind of fun. It was kind of weird. Uh... Not really what I was expecting, but I didn't hate it. Like I said, I, I think it was enjoy. It was funny in some ways. I mean, even the zombie thing is kind of amusing. It's it's interesting how extreme, like most of like half the cast is. If you don't stop them, like I'm gonna poison everyone at the dance. I'm going to turn literally the whole school into zombies if you don't dance with me. And that one wasn't even really a matter of me doing anything else to prevent her. It's just like she's so happy from having a date and someone to talk about zombies with that she's like, I don't need to kill everyone. That being said, I probably still get turned into a zombie because she's obviously into that. Um, you know, it kind of was in a way NTF. It wasn't, like, this was way more intentionally silly. Uh, the, it is listed on, on the page. Like, this is supposed, this isn't supposed to be a serious horror game. It is kind of, uh, it's supposed to be funny. It, it wasn't super funny either. Um, but I'm, it's good to know that it wasn't meant to be played straight. Because I think the fact that it's played to be cute and silly kind of helps it a lot. Um, that being said, I, I still actually did think this was a little more like what Doki Doki would be like, but with more glitchy weirdness going on, more cool like stuff. 
I still wish Doki Doki Literature Club was more of a horror game. Some people say it was really, like, I, I, I've talked to people about that before, and a lot of people are like, well, it was super scary, you just didn't react much, and I'm like... And, oh, when I thought everyone was gonna kill me. Yeah, this everyone did. Fair enough. You're right on that one. In Doki Doki uh, Literature Club, no one actually really kills you. There's not really a bad end in this game. There's uh, constant bad ends. In fact, one could say that it's pretty much the point of the game, aside from cuteness, to see how many stupid ways you can get yourself killed. <laughs> but hey, I loved and I died. In fact, I almost think that would be a more accurate, uh, name for this game, is Love and Die, rather than Love or Die, but whatever. But I won in the first ending. Yeah, see, because it's Love and Die, or Leave the School, and don't be stupid and then you'll and, the, and then if you just run away from the madness you won't die it's as simple as that i guess <laughs> drive off into the horizon on my rat ass motorcycle anyways um i think that's it i mean there's not a whole lot there's not really anything else to this game and uh I should sleep soon-ish. I, I, I'm probably not gonna sleep super soon because my schedule is all weird, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to sleep somewhat soon. So I'm not gonna stream anymore tonight, but I did have fun with this and with orange juice. And it was it was good to see everyone around. Thank you all for watching, and this is Hyperdimensional Detective signing out.